Recently I've been doing a lot of vinyl record shopping in stores and so I thought it'd be a really fun idea to take you guys along with me. There were really only two records on my list that I was looking for in the stores. Other than these, I was just kind of looking around to see what was in stock inside the stores. So the first record on my list was the Area 21 Vinyl Greatest Hits Volume 1. There is a purple pressing, which is an indie exclusive, so I can only find this in my local record store. So I wanted to see if some of the other stores had it in stock. If not, I did have this shipped to my local record store, so I had to go pick it up anyways. The other record on my list is the Batman 1989 movie soundtrack composed by Danny Elfman. This is my favorite Batman soundtrack. It's the like original Batman theme. This is where it came from and I would love to have it on vinyl. In this video I'm going to be going to five different stores that sell vinyl and I did film these on different days so if I look different or my nails are different that's why. The front entrance to this record store was actually like in an alley which is kind of weird but I went around the time of record store day and the store itself was actually pretty crowded so I couldn't get the best footage that I wanted to and it's actually a pretty small store inside anyway so everything was kind of crammed and so that's why the footage isn't the best that I hoped it would be. I just came in to look around and they did have a nice selection but it was mostly older music that I wasn't into. There were some newer artists like Taylor Swift and Adele but I wasn't really into that and I just wanted to look around before I picked up the record that I had shipped to the store. So as you can see it's pretty crowded on this day so it was kind of hard to film in there. So I did look around for a little bit, but I didn't see anything else that I wanted, so I wasn't there for that long, and then I just picked up the record that I ordered, and then I left. So I copped the goods, and I'll unbox this later. Target always has a really good selection of music to me. There are a lot of artists that I did recognize and some that I like, like the Juice World, um, Olivia Rodrigo, Adele. They had a lot of that stuff. They had some records I already have, like the Area 21 record, The Weekend, The Highlights, Juice World, Fighting Demons. I do have all of those. Now my Target finally has these records and I had to drive out of the way to go get them a few weeks ago. So I decided to take a look at some of the CDs. I wasn't really looking for anything in particular since I do have all the CDs that I want on my list except for like pre-orders but they did have a huge selection and I just didn't have enough time to go through everything because I didn't have a lot of time to look around in the store. They just had so many CDs it was super overwhelming. They didn't have any Juice World. that was the only thing I was looking for. Now here are the records. They had a bunch of like used records on the bottom shelves and the newer nicer ones were on top. So here's like an overlook at all of them. I didn't really recognize any of the names. The Star Wars one I already have which is cool to see it but that was pretty much the only thing I recognized in this area. And they also had a lot of 45s like a lot. <laughs> Right now I'm looking in the compilations to see if they had anything that I would like. Um, same thing with the 12-inch singles, but I didn't really recognize anything. Really the only thing that I was looking for was the Batman soundtrack from the 1989 film composed by Danny Elfman. I thought there was a good chance that they would have it in the store in the soundtrack area, but I didn't really see it as I was going through the soundtracks, so they didn't have it, which I was kind of bummed about, but I guess I'll just have to buy it online. This was another one I recognized, The Watchmen. I haven't seen the movie, so I didn't want to get the record, but I might come back for it if I end up liking it. 
Walmart had a really good selection too. A lot of um, Walmart exclusive colored pressings, which is really cool to see. They had a really nice selection, again, of older and newer artists. They had a bunch of record players and equipment on the bottom, but most of it was Crosley, which I don't think is the best, but it's good for beginners. They had a lot of like Taylor Swift and The Weeknd, and it was really cool to see the different colored pressings. In the A section, I was looking for the Area 21 Greatest Hits Volume 1 Walmart Blue Pressing. They said it was online only, but I just wanted to check in the store anyway, and I did not see it. Now, Barnes & Noble's, to me, had the best selection of records out of all of the stores. I was so glad I went. They had a great mix of older and newer artists, but a lot of the older artists I did recognize, so that was really good. And I really enjoyed going through all of these records. This section right here was 25% off, so I was just quickly flipping through it. The only thing I recognized was the Ed Sheeran album, but I wasn't interested in that. I was so excited to see the Dark Knight soundtrack on the purple and green colored pressing. The only reason why I didn't buy it is because I already have it on vinyl. Um, this one was another cool one to see too, another Batman movie soundtrack that was awesome. This was also a surprise. They had some Michael Jackson picture discs, which I thought was really cool and I almost considered buying them, but I could just get them for cheaper online. I think the picture discs looked cool, but I would rather have like a regular black pressing. They had some newer artists like Halsey and Olivia Rodrigo. They had some cool pressings of those and then of course they had Taylor Swift. I was also surprised to see Dua Lipa here. I'm pretty sure that was just the black pressing. They also had The Weeknd's latest albums. I was glad they had Post Malone too, but I already have that one. My sisters came with me to Barnes and Nobles and Megan wanted to show me this Kalita album that she likes. I really like the cover art for the Imagine Dragons albums, it was really cool. There's some Ed Sheeran, I only like a couple of his songs so not enough to get the whole record, but it was cool to see and they also had a lot of um, 21 Pilots as well, but again I only like a couple of their songs so it wasn't enough for me to get it on vinyl. So technically, I didn't buy anything other than the record that I ordered to the store and I went and picked up. And if I did have endless amounts of money, I definitely would have bought that Dark Knight record and probably the Michael Jackson ones as well. But I will show you guys the Area 21 record that I did pick up in this bag. I filmed a full unboxing video to this a few weeks ago, so if you want to see the full unboxing to this record, go check out that video. I'm just going to show you guys the cover and the pressing. So this is the Area 21 Greatest Hits Volume 1 Purple India Exclusive Pressing. Here's what the hype sticker reads. It does say purple here. This was $27. So after tax, it came to like $29, which isn't too bad. And this is what the purple pressing looks like. I think it's so cool. It's definitely my favorite pressing out of the red, black, and blue. So after I got back from the store, I did realize that I don't have any space left in my vinyl collection. There's literally no room for anything else. So that means I did have to purge my collection, which means I did have to go through my collection and pick out records that I want to get rid of. And by get rid of, I just mean sell. And I also went through all of my records and changed how I have them displayed in this outer sleeve. I decided to take all of the vinyl out of the jacket and just put it on the outside of the inner sleeve. Like I showed you guys with the Area 21 record. So I had to go through and do all of that. And while I was doing that, I did decide which records I'm going to be getting rid of. It was hard to get rid of some of my records, but it's a necessary part of the record collecting journey. So this is the end result. Now I have three or four inches of space left compared to nothing. So that's it for this record shopping vlog. Let me know if you recognize any of the records that I was flipping through and let me know if you guys have gotten any cool pickups recently. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!